I started out today on a very sour note. I uh, was getting ready to pack for a shoot tomorrow. I was going to do a little bit of 8 by 10 work, and uh, I couldn't find my lens. Now, it's not a very small lens. It's it's not like you know it's not like in a drawer somewhere or maybe under those sheets of paper over there. It's it's pretty good sized lens. It's like as big as my head, and uh, I mean I was thinking, what what the hell am I going to do? I mean this this whole thing to go out tomorrow and shoot this camera. It's been planned. It's part of the deal. It's what I want to do. Um, you know, you get in a funk and you want to move on and do something, and all of a sudden you can't find your lens. I found it. Right where I never looked all morning. I would go into the, 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 the little shoot area there in the studio, and it's not in that box. I know it's not in that box. I'll look in this over here. Uh, it's not in that box. It was in that box. So I have my lens, and I'm going to put it on my 8x10 camera with my brand new... 25 year old uh, glass on the back and uh, go and make some pictures tomorrow. So uh, we'll get some video on that. That'll be fun. Uh, but you know, I've been feeling a little uh, compressed lately. Do you ever get that way where you think, you know, I want to do, you know, and fill in the blank there. I want to do this. And you think, I want to plan it. And then it comes to the time you're going to do it. And you think, oh man, I don't know if I want to get up early or I don't know if I want to go here. I don't know if I, if I want to go there. You know, it's all, oh, I think, oh, this trip tomorrow, it's out of, you know, it's, I have to drive out of town and I'm thinking, oh, I hate that drive. You know, all this negative shit just comes bursting in. Does that, does that happen to you? Because it happens to me. I get this sort of vast influx of, oh, crap, I don't want to drive all the way from here to Wickenburg. From Wickenburg on, cool. But from here to Wickenburg, I don't want to do it. Um, and there's a there's a great remedy for that. It's absolutely great remedy. It's called just do it. Just get in the car, get on the bike, and go and do it. I find that all that negativity melts away in the first 45 minutes or an hour. And you realize it's resistance. It's resistance building up a little block to keep you from doing it. But once you get over the top of that little hump there, you just get some downhill momentum and you go on. We, uh, we live in a, in a world of uh, instant gratification. We live in a world where what you, what you do and how you do it is scrutinized all the time. You know, I'm doing these videos now and uh, trying to uh, keep up with that. And everybody, you know, kind of, gets into your business in a way and you think how do you stay creative during that and how do you keep pushing while all those things are happening and i think the the only thing you do is just you just keep on and um i know that that momentum is a big part of it and we think if we can get over this hump or we can we can move um just a little bit from where we are we can get a little momentum going down the back side we do get stuck with pushback, resistance, all those little things that hold us back from getting in the car with the camera and going out. They hold us back from getting on the phone and doing cold calls. They hold us back from doing the emails that we have to do to send out to clients. Um, but the only thing I can say to fix it is to just do it. There's no magic. I'm not talking about like long-term creative slumps. I mean, there's all kinds of I mean, you can go on the internet and scour the internet, all kinds of like, well, try a different camera or, you know, take a road trip. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking the morning of the road trip when you go out to the car and you think, ah, oh, man, I'd rather stay home and you know, I've got all this work to do. I've got articles to write. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. Yeah, you do. You really do. But you got to do this trip because you planned it. Uh, some of you may know that my uh, my motorcycle trip to Alaska was was aborted last year because I wrecked my back seriously uh, the first two days out, and then I only made it five days. And thank God we we called it quits because I spent another eight and a half weeks in in uh, physical therapy to fix it so that I could actually walk. Um, and you know I made that commitment to ride my motorcycle, ride a motorcycle to Alaska. And, um, 
you know, some people have been, just been surprised to hear that I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to write the book and all the whole bit uh, because I said I would. I have to do what I say I'm going to do or what's the point in saying you're going to do anything? Nobody gives a damn what I say. They're only interested in what I do. Same with you. Talk, talk, talk. Do, do, do. What lasts longer? So anyway, uh, when, the, when the creative mood doesn't hit, when the muse doesn't show up, shoot anyway. Do it anyway. Design anyway. Write anyway. Every Sunday morning I get up, I have to write an article for the, the newsletter. Some Sunday mornings I get up and I think there's nothing I want to do less than write an article right now for the newsletter. But what I do is I come down, I come in, I sit down, I open up Evernote, I look at the stuff that I've saved, ideas for content, and I click on one and I go, that sounds pretty good. I summarize it in one paragraph and then I write the article. I have to do it. If you don't do it, you let resistance win. And when resistance wins one time, it's easier for it to win the second time and the third and the fourth. And before you know it, resistance owns you instead of you owning resistance. So, you know, take it from me. I've been doing this for a long time. Not every day you get up do you think, oh man, I'm going to hit it out of the park today. Some days you get up and think, I don't want to do this. But if you're a commercial photographer, you've got to, and you've got to bring your A game every time. And I think that breeds a special kind of passion and a special kind of commitment. And uh, that's what I love to see. I'm seeing it at the uh, Project 52 site with all the students there. Um, some of these, these students, I mean, I've got students who will spend all day doing an assignment shoot. All day. I mean, hours. Three, three evenings to set it up and get it built. And it's just incredible to watch that kind of commitment. That's the kind of commitment it takes. And they just tell resistance to shut up. Don't want to hear from you. It's time for me to make something. As a matter of fact, it's time for me to make something right now. I'll see you tomorrow.